Have you ever seen all of those YouTubers and people on conference calls using ring lights and you think to yourself, does it really work? Stay tuned. So I've been asking myself this for a while. I obviously do not currently have any external lighting besides the regular lamp in my home office. And I decided, I saw a really good deal on Amazon. It was a 10 inch round light, 10 bucks. Why not, right? So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna play with that light, see how it works and determine, is it really worth it? As you can see, it is a 10 inch diameter. It did come with a tripod along with a couple of accessories. So this right here can screw in and it would hold your phone. It also came with an adapter for the tripod. So this is a ball joint and you could actually be able to move it 360, tilt it in any direction that makes sense. For today, I am going to put it directly in front of my computer monitor. However, I think what I need to do is either get a taller tripod that reaches behind my computer screen or determine what other location it might fit directly in because obviously I don't want it blocking my computer screen when I'm on a conference call or something. So we're gonna just put that right in the front. Now the first thing I wanna do is I am going to shut off the overhead light so you can see what this room looks like with absolutely no light. I may have lied a little bit when I said absolutely no light. As you can see, my computer screen is blue so there's a bit of a blue shadow on me from the computer screen and my 3D printer behind me is currently running so you obviously can see a little bit of light coming from there. But overall, this is what my room looks like when I shut the lights off. Now we're gonna turn that ring light on. So this ring light has three different tones to it. This is the natural light, then we have the warm light, and finally we have the white light. So those are the three different lights and again, there's no other light in the room right now except the ring light. So we're gonna go toggle through those again. We have the natural light, the warm light, and the white light. Now all of these lights are currently on the lower features. It does have, I believe, 10 brightnesses. So we're on the white light right now and we're gonna just turn it up. And you can see right away, I get really washed out, but we can go even brighter and I guess depending on the room, depending on the other lights you have going on, this could be a good feature to be able to go this bright. I think right now we're going to go back down to that original because that is really, really bright. All right, the next thing, you didn't notice it because it's off camera, but it does have the little remote control and that is how I am changing between the lights. So again, it came with that little remote. It's right on the cord three different tones and I believe 10 brightnesses. I didn't count as I was moving up those brightnesses. I'm gonna turn the overhead light back on now so we can see the difference. <sighs> we just turned the overhead light back on and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the ring light back on. So now you can see, this is currently the warm and you can see the difference between the overhead with the ring versus the overhead alone. We're gonna go toggle in, and now we are on the warm light, and then finally the white light. I would love to get your opinion on this, so can you please leave a comment below and let me know what you like best. Do you like best the overhead light alone, the natural light, the warm light, or the white light? See you next time. Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tech tips, like this one.